at least here god is not a mathematical entity or system of concept mutually related to one another and having no reference to experience so so the most important word in <laughs> there are two important words in 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 this paragraph the, uh, okay the words uh, first is experience and the other is immediacy and one way to read it the way we read it last time immediacy mean that is it's not mediated through concepts so concepts obviously get involved but at a later stage that's one way of reading it uh, the immediacy because um, in in philosophical tradition i mean at least there are two traditions right? one is that you, you, you experience obviously there are more than two but so the british empiricist tradition and the analytic and analytical philosophy which ensues in its wake not all anal analytical philosophy but a lot of it uh, which follows in british empiricism claims that uh, our experience of object is immediate in the sense that the content of experience comes which they some of them call sense data and nowadays they i think more often use the word content um, I mean, it has been a while I've read this sort of stuff, but uh, content. Um, so by immediacy of the experience, such tradition might mean that content or sense data come to us as raw material. And then, then, then in the second, we provide concepts. On the other hand, uh, the other tradition, which is also in analytic philosophy as well, I'm more impressed by Hegelian, uh, for example, McDowell and those people. Um, I think they call conceptual conceptualism or something like that. They said that there's no such um, this sense data content prior to conceptualization is just an abstraction, just an abstraction. Uh, and since that our content content comes to us always always already conceptualized and Kant for example can be read in this way as well but I think uh, with Kant uh, both traditions try to quote Kant for that so I don't know why I mention all this but uh, <laughs> let's go back to what we were talking about yeah so this uh, I mean in this uh, I think I, I read um, last time I, I read Iqbal's talk of immediacy in this context so that's one natural way of reading it but i think there are other ways as well so today we are going to look at some other ways and one thing which jumped at me when i was re rereading it uh, i'll go back to that line and then see whether it's something new or 